Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a longer video, but we're here today. I'm excited for today's word because it's very encouraging and it's something that I know I needed to hear from the Lord. So I pray that you guys will be encouraged and I pray that it reaches whoever needs to hear it. The title of today's message is Stewardship. I really want to talk a little bit about stewarding what God has given us and just being faithful over what God has entrusted us with. As believers in Christ, we are all responsible over the resources that God has entrusted us with. God will bless you with resources, not for our own glory, but for the glory of the kingdom, the glory of God. We are called to be faithful managers over everything that God has given us, whether that is finances, friendships, ministry, your body, your temple, relationships, marriages. And so I want to ask you guys today, how are you stewarding what God has given you? Many of us, if we're being completely honest, if I'm being honest, I'll speak for myself here. I haven't been stewarding my time as wisely as I should. Lately, I have been just allowing my flesh to get distracted by scrolling on social media or just putting things before time with God and obviously that's a huge distraction and it can keep you from really hearing what God is speaking to you in a certain moment or just what God wants to pour into you and I definitely felt a little bit of conviction once the Lord gave me the word stewardship and I kind of just like inspected and magnified every area of my life and I asked the Lord what areas of my life have, have I not been stewarding as well as I could I want to read you guys a couple verses that the Lord put on my heart Luke 16 verse 10 says if you are faithful in the little things you will be faithful in the large ones but if you are dishonest in the little things you won't be honest with greater responsibilities luke 16 verse 11 says and if you are untrustworthy with worldly wealth who will trust you with the true riches of heaven first corinthians 4 verse 2 says a person who is put in charge as a manager must be faithful first peter 4 verse 10 says god has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts use them well to serve one another if god sees you faithful with what he's given you god will certainly say wow i can trust you with the little that i blessed you with and now i'm going to give you more and it's not about being faithful so that we can get more but it's more so about just being responsible with what God has blessed us with. If you guys don't know what stewardship means, stewardship literally just means like you're a manager, you're responsible over something. And if you think about it, we are not our own. God literally paid a high price for us. And that is why it's so important for us to act like we were bought with a high price and not, you know, defiling our temples. How are we stewarding our bodies? Are we eating healthy, nourishing foods for our bodies? Are we committing sexual immorality instead of staying pure until marriage? There are many ways that a person can defile their bodies. The Bible calls us to steward our bodies because our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. So we are responsible for everything that God has blessed us with and entrusted us with. We are called to be faithful stewards over everything that we have. God is looking for people who are going to be responsible with the resources that he gives you. God wants wants people who he can trust to be faithful to him because if we're being honest a lot of people are given blessings and resources from God and then they don't use it for the glory of God they end up allowing that to become an idol or they allow that to taint their humility God wants people who are not going to waver and be uprooted by the things and resources that he gives you he wants people that he can trust to pour into you financially he wants people he can trust to give you opportunities and positions and to put you in certain rooms Rooms that are not going to corrupt you that are not going to influence you but instead have you be the influence towards them oftentimes we're seeing people get blessed and brought into rooms full of dark and wicked people they are compromising with the wickedness because they don't want to be rejected or left out or they don't want to offend people so instead they choose to affirm people in their beliefs and just be lukewarm and allow other people to influence them rather than them being an influence towards the dark Darkness. So we shouldn't take advantage of anything that God has given us. Don't forget about God when he blesses you. Honestly, God doesn't just give us things for our own glory. God gives us things so that we can use it for the glory of God, so that we can use it for the glory of the kingdom of God. And we have to remember that like time is short, okay? What are you doing with the time that God is giving you? One day we're going to wake up and time will have passed us by. Time is very precious and we have to use our time wisely. Do not waste the time that God has given you because every morning that you wake up is another opportunity for you to use your time for the glory, for expanding the kingdom. Like Ecclesiastes says, there is a time for everything, a time to be born and a time to die. There is a time to plant and there is a time to harvest what you've planted. 
For a lot of people, God has blessed you with spiritual gifts. How are you using the gifts that God has given you? Are you using it to glorify God or are you using it to glorify yourself? God is watching to see how we handle our finances, our possessions, our resources. So I just want to ask this question. How are you stewarding the things that God has given you? So ask yourself, are you stewarding your body or your temple of the Holy Spirit? Are you stewarding your marriage or your relationships or your friendships? Are you stewarding your finances and the materials that God has given you? Are you stewarding your time? How are you stewarding your life for the glory of God? And what areas can you improve on? Remember, when God sees that you're faithful over the little, he will then bless you with more. It's not about getting blessed with more and more and more, but it's about being responsible with whatever God has given you. Lots of us are comparing the little that God has given us, and we're saying, well, that person has more. Maybe they were faithful over the little that God blessed them with, so God trusted them with more. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Don't compare what other people have, because comparison is literally the thief of joy. We also have to just understand that there are times and seasons some people might be in a different season of their life they're just in a different season that doesn't mean that you're not going to get to that season or that they're not going to go through the season you're going through it's just all about timing and God knows what he's doing so don't try to play the role of God just have faith in what God is doing the Bible says in the right timing I the Lord will make it happen ask the Lord to reveal what areas can you be a better faithful steward over I love you guys and I will talk to you guys soon bye